Hello, I'm Atuba Judge, and I'm so excited to be bringing God's truth to you. Now, welcome to the month of May. Now, this month is special. Why am I saying it's special? See, because actually I heard the Spirit of God talk to me about new beginning. I said, why new beginning? Listen, when God talks to you, you just answer, yes, sir. And begin to tap from his wisdom, see? Because he had his plan before you were born. Praise God. And he had it in mind. So when he tells you it's a new beginning, believe him and walk in the light with him. Are you listening to me? So now, in this month, you're going to be seeing prophecies fulfilled. Prophecies you've been waiting for many months or many years. You will see them fulfilled. And they are just going to fulfill, like, I mean, you, you, know, you, you know, sometimes when God does things for in your life, you just like, wow, you know, like, yeah, this is just the right thing that should happen, <laughs> praise God. Yeah, with ease, prophecies will be fulfilled in your life. You see, because there's a realignment. And remember last month, we were talking about angelic activities. Now you will begin to see the result of angelic activities. You will begin to see the reason for all these things happening. Now that's how God operates. See? So get ready. It's going to be an exciting month. Now forget about what's going on out there. Forget about the news. Forget about all these things. God is aware of them. And let me tell you something. They are part of the plan. Praise God. Now that's why he says, you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. Say you will here he didn't say you will participate in wars no he said you will hear of them but guess what a thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand by your right hand but they will not come near you only with your eyes you will see and behold the reward of the wicked this is how this is your story so don't get the news or don't let the news out there to begin to cause fear into your heart. No, reject fear. I'm telling you, reject fear. Don't sit and say they are kidnapping people everywhere. Oh, hey, listen, not you. Not you. Mary K. Bushapra. He that dwells in the secret place of this is not just a confession. This is not just something we say. This is a reality in our hearts. So there is the secret place of the Most High to dwell in. There is the um, shadow of the Almighty to abide in. It's not just something we read and we recite. So when he says, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High, what is the secret place of the Most High? It's the place of his word. It's the place of his voice. It's the place where he has commanded you to be. And that's why the Bible in Proverbs tells us, in all your ways, acknowledge him. And guess what he will do for you? He will direct your paths. So you want to travel? Lord, what do you think about this journey that I want to go on? Lord, I'm thinking of going to see so, so and so. What's on your mind? Is there anything you want me to do there? Is there anything? What are you doing? You are acknowledging him in that way. Oh Lord, my children are going to school today. I just want to thank you because you will be their guide. What are you doing? You are acknowledging that his presence is in your life. That's what you're doing. When you acknowledge him in all your ways. So when we, when we start the day with prayer, it's not just a formality. We are acknowledging that the Lord is in our lives and then we, we commune with him concerning our day. Now, the moment you have told, say, Lord, thank you for this day. I just want to bless you. As I go to the office today, Lord, I ask that you guide me. Speak to me. Tell me what I should know. Bring me wisdom in dealing with people today. Lord, that project that we have, I, I require your wisdom on how to finish it up. I require your wisdom. Now, when you talk, like, you're not just, oh, God. No, no, no. You are talking with your senses intact. So you know what you're doing. Sometimes people pray, and when they are done, you ask them, so what did you pray about? They say, um, I, I just prayed. I just... It wasn't in their mind. So they didn't pray. 
See, God responds to the things that come from your heart. If it comes from your heart, then it means your mind have acknowledged it and accepted it. Praise God. So, so acknowledge him in every way. That, that is the secret place of the Most High. The place of acknowledgement. And guess what? He is the one that will begin to direct your path. You get to the park, you want to enter a particular vehicle, he will tell you, no, don't enter that vehicle. Enter the next one. I said, why? And then you, you sit down and suddenly the seat becomes very uncomfortable. He said, no, I don't think I want to enter. I want to enter the next one. Ah, yeah, but the next one, I will wait. I will be patient. And then you enter that one. And then the, the, the rest is history. He will always protect you. Now I'm praying for you. He will always protect you. Listen, this month of May, you will not even feel a scratch of whatever the enemy is going to do. Not just against you personally, even around your environment. Now listen, as a child of God, you must learn to take charge of your environment. So you pray in the morning, say, Father, I connect with every angel in this vicinity. Now, let me, t I told you this when we we're talking about angel. Your words matter. Your words matter. That's why we don't keep quiet. Wherever we are, we talk the word. Praise God. Yes, we talk the word. You go visit your friend, talk the word. Now that's how the angel in that area will hear your voice. Says, Someone is talking our language, praise God. And then, they, who, who this guy? Who's this guy? He lives around here. I, I want to know where he stays. See? I'm telling you the truth. This is how they operate. So don't keep quiet. That's what the Bible says. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. You know, they will say, let the redeem of the Lord say so. Everyone shall so. That's not what he's talking about. He said, if the Lord has redeemed you, don't keep quiet. Talk about it. Praise God. Yeah. You know, most of these things is because of the angels. We're not talking about the angels this week, but I need to pick you up from there. So we speak the word everywhere we go. Hallelujah. We speak the word everywhere we go. And the angels recognize you. So hey, you are cushioning your life. More safety around you. I'm telling you the truth. More provision for you. Even angels that are not specifically assigned to you want to do you good. Why? Because you talk their language. <laughs> but that's like how do human beings. That's exactly how it works. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So I declare over your life the protection of God in this season. Now I'm praying this because things are going to get tougher at the beginning of the month. Things are going to get tougher. If you want to pay attention to the news, your heart will almost fail you. But let me tell you this. The month will not end until we see victory. Praise God. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In our nation, we are going to see the big victory is <laughs> God. Yeah, we will. Thank you, Jesus. He loves us. He loves us as a people. He loves our nation. God has a plan for Nigeria. Never forget that. He's got a plan for Nigeria. And you are about to see. Forget what is going on right now. The blossoming of Nigeria is ahead of us. And you will see it. You will partake of it, praise God. You will not be like that man, Elisha told that. You will see it, but you will not. But no, I prophesy over you right now. You will see it, and you will partake of it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you. Thank you for our nation, Lord. And thank you for every nation on the earth. Your plan, according to that which is written in heaven, is being fulfilled your will is being done hallelujah in every nation in every family i declare in the name of the lord jesus christ god's plan is being fulfilled in your home god's plan is being fulfilled in your family in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus while i was praying right now i actually just saw someone 
Oh, thank you, Jesus. Someone who's been looking for the fruit of the womb. The Lord is giving you twins. That's what I saw right now. You are going to get twins. Praise God. And you are conceiving in this month of May. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We bless you, Lord, for all these things. Even right now, healings are taking place. If you're sick in your body, no matter where that sickness is, you are not walking into me with this sickness. No, 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 no. You are not going to continue with that sickness. So in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command healing in your body right now. Can you just place your hand in that? that, that I, I, feel, I just feel like praying right now. Put your hand in that place that is hurting you. I speak healing right now. The power of God is coming on you right now. And you will feel it. Thank you, Jesus. That warmness you are feeling right now is the Spirit of God burning that thing out. And I declare you healed. You are completely healed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Someone, you're being healed in the truth right now. Right now. Your truth is, is clearing out. The healing is, is taking place. Whatever. It, it feels like it's so terribly hurting you. I command that pain to leave you now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be healed. Yes, be healed. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You, you can go take a cup of water and, and, and see. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Healing. Different kinds of miracles are taking place right now. Yes, it's taking place right now. I see it. I see it. I see it. Glory to God. You can begin to give him praise. Just give him praise. And then begin to get up and begin to do what you couldn't do before. It doesn't matter what the situation is. I say stand up now. In Jesus' name. Begin to do what you couldn't do before. If you couldn't swing your arm, begin to swing it right now. If, if you couldn't bend, begin to bend right now. If your head was aching, you couldn't shake it, begin to shake it right now. Thank you, Jesus. If you had issues with your eyes, begin to see well right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The anointing is so strong right now. Every issue with the stomach be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, the power of God is, is available right now to heal. Hallelujah. Just lift up your hands and give him praise. Give him praise. Now, why is he doing this today? Because it's going to be a great month. And he needs you to have strength to rejoice. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. He wants you to have enough strength to rejoice. So when everybody's rejoicing, you are going to stand up and say, Yes, God's word has come to pass. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We just bless you, Lord. And we commit this whole month, Lord, into your hands. Thank you for your manifested presence. The assurance we have this month, like you have promised, is you will never leave us. You will never forsake us. Thank you. I, I see a financial miracle happening to a family. Something big is coming your way this month of me. Something that is going to change your lives. It's, I mean, it's going to change your life. Early <laughs> Kaboom Ah, Kabu Shatalabra, we bless you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise for these miracles. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.